Are you serious? Are you serious, folks? Uh, there is an emergency situation. Uh, we hope it has been resolved on the International Space Station this morning, just a couple hours ago. Let me give you a live report coming out of NASA. 42 crew members are safe and in good shape inside the Russian segment of the International Space Station after an alarm was enunciated around 3 a.m. Central Time in the U.S. segment of the complex that sometimes can be indicative of an apparent ammonia leak. We need to emphasize again, and you just heard from spacecraft communicator Jim Kelly in his latest communication to Station Commander Barry Wilmore that there is no data to suggest that there was in fact a real ammonia leak and in fact the data more and more seems to be pointing toward a sensor problem that tripped that alarm. But acting uh, in very conservative fashion and following emergency response procedures that the crew is well trained on, the crew donned masks and moved into the Russian segment of the station closing the hatch to the U.S. segment behind them. Flight controllers and mission control here in Houston detected an increase in pressure in the water loop for thermal control system Bravo B on the station, which triggered the enunciation of that alarm on board. Acting in extremely conservative fashion, the crew was directed to isolate themselves in the Russian segment. Non-essential equipment uh, uh, that is controlled by that thermal control system cooling loop was powered down in an orderly fashion, but is currently in the process of being powered back on. So uh, this is very concerning, especially when you understand the relationship between the two leaders of these two superpowers, the United States and Russia, the relationship between President Obama and Vladimir Putin is not what I would call very friendly. At best, they're as cold as ice, and are they willing to sacrifice in space. Well, crew members are safe in the Russian segment of the International Space Station, and the alarm did go off, prompted the evacuation from the U U.S. section, according to NASA, and as you said, um, they thought it was an ammonia leak, or at least that was the alarm going off, which would have been extremely deadly if it was and if it is. Now, we still don't have a confirmation that it is or isn't, but it's more likely that it is just a bad sensor. Let's pray that's the case. NASA, though, confirms they don't have any hard data suggestion suggesting that the uh, aroma uh, that was is actually ammonia leak. But, um, you know, we, we will wait for further information and clarification uh, and a confirmation that this is the case. Meanwhile, the hatch is sealed between the Russians and the Americans. And you got to know, folks, at some point, between the relationship between these two nations, that it's getting, it's going to get more and more secretive. It's going to get more and more divided as the ruble's collapsing, as the Russian economy is suffering, as Bulgaria shuts down the South Stream pipeline that Russia was going to supply the European Union with, as um, Russia's invasion of Ukraine and and an annexing of Crimea. Uh, did not sit well with the West. The American side of things has begun to pull away and tighten up. And of course, the G8 summit kicking Vladimir Putin and the Russians out. I mean, all of these things, um, you know, and the Black Sea activity going on. Russia's stepping up their military presence, not only in the, in the oceans, but in the air. Turning off their uh, radar detective uh, equipment and, and and breaching international waters and even some nations' airspace, including Japan, even Guam, the base flying over Guam, these types of things. So it doesn't shock me that there could start being problems as it relates to space. We'll continue, to, especially when you understand the significance of a Star Wars program. And that was brought in under the direction of President Ronald Reagan. I mean, we've come a long way, folks. It's a deadly world. So pray for everybody up there in the International Space Station, everyone, including 
uh, other nations that are up there. And, and just pray for all of the astronauts and cosmonauts. In Jesus' name.